Hi, it's Mind Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research. Hi guys, we're going to talk about Alliance Block NXRA today. Just looking at the charts today, we are currently at 7.27% down on the last 24 hours, currently at 0 0.07696. Um, market cap at the moment 56,363,775. Um, I'm going to be quite honest. Um, this is probably due to the Fed upping its rate yesterday a quarter point, which, to be fair, I think um, probably NXRA will settle at some point, and I think we'll probably see a little bit more of a pump. Um, and if we look at the seven day chart here, we can see we've had a high of um, just over 10 cents there and we pop down to around about seven. Um, but the market is quite turbulent at the moment. We are still within a bear market and hopefully over the next couple of months as NXRA starts to build, we'll start to see that price increase. I mean, obviously, we've got lots of lot. We've got lots of um, new partnerships coming in, which I'm I'm quite excited about because Alliance Block are continually working, working really hard. I love the the fact that the CEO the CEO plays a big role in the community, reassuring us what's going on, and obviously with what's happened over the last month or so. Um, I think they're moving forward very, very quickly. So I noted this tweet from um, Intercable. Today's the launch of ISO 222 standard for cross-border payments. With CBDCs coming, holding one project that is ISO compliant is a must-have in his opinion. You can see it either as an investment or a hedge depending on the project. Compliant project list, which we shall look at. And you will notice... Um, alliance block is uh, on that top right there now I hate the the word compliant because I don't think you, we can really they basically these these particular tokens satisfy um, certain uh, hoops that they have to go through to be essentially regulated um, so whether or not they're actually compliant they haven't actually got a certificate saying <laughs> they're compliant but um, all of these guys here actually fit within that. Um, I noticed that Alliance Block's a new addition, really, to this list. Uh, I've seen many lists over the last couple of months. Um, and I know that Alliance Block will work in towards that. So hopefully we've um, crossed that line and that we are at that this point now um, almost with satisfying those um, hurdles that we need to jump to be essentially classed as regulated rather than they are compliant, if you know what I mean. So you'll notice on this list here, um, Alliance Block has actually the smallest market cap. And to work out the market cap, you'll see here. So it's got 850 million tokens times that by its current price will equal um, the market cap um, of wh where it's at. And at the moment, it's the lowest. So for me, I think it's probably the, the best investment in some respects because it's going to have that big jump. Um, I'd love it to have a hundred times at some point in a bull market, um, which hopefully we'll get at some point. Um, remember, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I am some guy that loves um, crypto. So you've always got to do your own research in anything that you do. And I'm doing mine. This is just my personal opinion. Um, so if we look here tonight, we have Alliance Block Chat. This Thursday, this evening, I'll be there, which is a plug and play TC. Um, we'll host Alliance Blocks founder and CTO, uh, Mathis Threes and Art Banks. Now, Art Banks... Um, is a partnership that was uh, probably, I think it was the, the first partnership that um, Alliance Block had where they're tokenizing artwork into the decentralized world which, world, which is a great idea. So they'll be having a chat this evening at 6 p.m. I think it's Central European time um, and 10 a.m. Um, PST time. Get along, have a little listen. If you're into Alliance Block and you like the project, 
get on there and listen to these guys. There's some great information. Can be quite um, technical, but I think you know if you want to learn, then it's best to have a listen and start to pick up some of the lingo. Um, so really, really good. Um, so have a listen tonight. This was just really a quick update on NXRA and where we are. Um, I'm quite excited about the project. I think they're working really, really hard. And I'd hope that we'll see this figure here increase over the next few months uh, and that we're all really really happy as you can see it's just gone down a bit since um spoken it's down 8.19 percent but like i say i'm not that bothered at the moment i think it the price is fairly low hopefully there will be no more fud in the market because there's a lot going on at the moment yeah so there you go guys just a quick update please subscribe please hit that notification bell for more videos like this i try and update um, on nxra um, every other day or at least every day at some points um, so please subscribe and I will catch you later. All the best.